Hey guys, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. This week we have Detectives Only as our weekly challenge, and it says put your detective skills to the test. This ghost is giving nothing away. We need to correctly find the ghost on Edgefield. I have a suspicion this might be zero evidence. Let's go ahead and load on in and see what we get. All right, we got, ooh, Patricia. I always die to Patricia's, so this is probably gonna be bad. Uh, we are at 100% sanity. Looks like no setup time though. Uh, let's go ahead and see. I really feel like this is probably going to be uh, zero evidence, but let's go find out. So far, everything seems normal. Breaker is off. Go ahead and grab that key just in case the ghost is in the garage and gets annoying with the little car alarm. Nobody wants a car alarm. Uh, nothing there. No hiding spots. Ooh, that is a good question of do we have hiding spots? Do we have a cursed item? These are all the questions. I heard a door. Was that down here? It was down here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of that for an interaction. Actually, we don't care about taking photos. We just care about identifying the ghost. Uh, but ghost is definitely down here. I'm gonna go ahead and- ooh, bone. Just kidding. Grab that photo. <laughs> Cause why the hell not? I'm just used to- my- my usual go-to starting equipment when playing is, in fact, EMF and photo camera. Just- that's just what I like to start with. Um, but when I'm not trying to get a perfect game, What? Why didn't they give us UV lights? What is the purpose of the- Okay. <laughs> like, it gave us glow sticks! I can still check for fingerprints! Well, why are there no UV lights? I- I have questions. But okay, okay, no UV light. That's fine. I can live with that. Out of, out of all the equipment they could have taken away from us, I'm fine with that. Okay, I don't see any ghost orbs. Uh, so even if it is zero evidence, a mimic will always show ghost orbs. Uh, so we could rule that out if we don't see those. I would check a few times to be certain before ruling that out, because sometimes ghost orbs can be hidden, delayed, kind of like glipping through walls. That's always a possibility. Okay. Uh, so no fingerprints for sure. Still just EMF too. Like I said, I have a very, very big suspicion. This is zero evidence. So maybe let's just go ahead, find our cursed item, and trigger a hunt. See what happens. As if this is zero evidence, the fastest way to, uh, to identify a ghost is to get hunted. See if it is a normal speed ghost or not. If it's not normal speed, we can usually identify it. If it is normal speed, we'll have to do a little bit more digging. Uh, but I say, yeah, let's just do that. Because I really feel like that's probably what they meant. By the ghost is giving nothing away. Nothing, I tell you. Okay. Let's go. Even if there is evidence on. Let's just go get hunted. Oh, uh, what if they didn't give us a cursed item, though? I didn't even think about that. Okay, not music box, not tarot cards, not summoning circle. Is it Oija board? There is an Oija board. Okay, let's go find a hiding spot. Assuming we have one of those, too. I didn't look downstairs at the lockers. Um, 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 um. Just not- Eh, well, we can make it work. Assuming we actually have hiding spots? Do we not have hiding spots? Oh. Hey, here's one. Okay. There's just very limited hiding spots. That's fine. I can live with that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave- Actually, no, let's bring that, because I don't need to hold the Ouija board to break it. My question is, do I actually want to break it? Or just drop my sanity so that I, I might just drop my sanity so that I'm in hunting range of normal ghosts. Because if I break the board, I then can't use it later. So let's just go ahead and ask, uh, where are you? Goodbye. Because that will drain my sanity by 40%, so we should be roughly within hunting range now. Uh, we're definitely in hunting range. Cool. Assuming it's a normal hunting ghost, we are good to go. So let's see if it hunts us. Even a shade should be able to hunt now, so... Come on, baby, hunt me. Hunt me, please. Hunt me, baby, one more time. It's hammer time? Excuse me? I guess he's just a shy little ghost, a wee little ghosty. He doesn't want to kill me, he just wants to be friends. It's actually Casper, fun fact. Um... This is how I die. What if it's like zero second grace period? Hello? He hello?
This is real weird. Why are you not hunting me? Seriously, his friendly ghost on? <laughs> um, oh no, there it goes, there we go. It's giggling. Fortunately, that sounds normal speed. Oh god, I'm gonna die. She's coming upstairs with me. I'm so dead. Oh no, I'm not. Hunts are short. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so yeah, that sounded like normal speed, I believe, unless my ability to hear slow twin is still a little bit borked. That, that was honestly, uh, listening for slow twin is probably the hardest thing for the game in me for me. Hardest thing to identify in the game for me personally. I don't know why, it just is. As soon as I hear the fast twin, I can identify it immediately, but I always like doubt myself on a uh, slow twin. But also, I did not start a smudge timer. So it's a little gonna be a little bit delayed, but we'll still get that going, because if it's a spirit, it can't hunt for three minutes. If it hunts before three minutes has passed, it can't be a spirit. Anything happening down here? I should also do like an Onryo Hello? Well, hi there! Um, that was two back-to-back -back singing ghost events. Uh, Banshee? Question mark? <laughs> uh, like any ghost could tech- oh. Yeah, any ghost could technically do back-to-back -back singing ghost events, but Banshee's just more likely to kind of do that shenanigan. But, you know, it could also be like Oni or something if it's super active, but we are at 0% sanity, which means all ghosts are gonna basically act the same, even a spirit, or even a shade, so... Okay. Let's just go back in, because if it's not a spirit, it should be able to hunt now. I can just go downstairs. I want to look at it for a little bit longer, if possible. Just to look for any shape shifting. Um, yeah, let's try. I'm going to try to loop it a little bit. Oh, good. Okay, it's not a spirit. Still sounds normal speed. Oh, I'm so going to die. I gotta go. I gotta go. I got stuck on the coffee table. Wait, it's already over? Oh my god, these hunts are so short. Okay. I didn't see any shape shifting. It's definitely not a phantom though. Because uh, it was very, very visible for a long amount of time. But it's normal speed. We're at 0% sanity, so we know it can't be a Moroi. Because they would be fast at 0% sanity. Can't be a Diogen. Uh, definitely not a Thay, because we barely spent any time th down there, so Thay would still be pretty, pretty fast. I have my flashlight on it to get fast around it, so not a Raiju. Uh, it's not changed, like, it's not slightly fast or slightly slow, so it's not the twins. Um, the breaker was on, and it get fast in line of sight of me from far away, so not a Jin. Uh, it's not changing speed based on temperature, it seems, so not a Hantu, because I don't think I heard it being faster downstairs. It seems very consistent speed. Obviously not a Revnex, it's not slow out of line of sight of us. Uh, and then it doesn't get super fast when it sees us. How do I wanna- ooh, I should probably do like a miling test. Mm, okay. I would like to know if I have any evidence turned on or not though. Cause if it's like a Gorio, best way to test for it is to look for dots. Uh, hopefully this is doing something. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw down dots. Uh, let's try spirit box as well, just in case there is like one evidence turned on, because that would be gr super super helpful uh, when dealing with some of some certain ghosts that are very hard to identify with zero evidence. Go ahead and put that down. Uh, where are you? Are you near? Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Are you near? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, so. No spirit box, no freezing temps, no ghost orbs. 
It just seeming seems like it is, in fact, true zero evidence. But we'll go ahead and watch this for a split second. Okay, still nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and put down the ghostwriting book and a crucifix. I'm gonna start setting up for like on Rio test. Uh, unfortunately, so if it is a banshee, uh, banshees are more likely to roam to your location, but you have to be on the same floor as them. So basement, there's like basically no good way to test for a banshee in that regard. Uh, I think that is actually a bug, so to speak. Um, I'm assuming they're gonna change that in the future where it's like a phantom can roam to you regardless of what floor you're on, as long as you're within range of it. But banshees just for some reason cannot roam to you if you're on a different floor. Uh, so for now, like, best way to test for a banshee in this case would be to go use our paramic, see if you can get a banshee scream, but that's not super reliable, because it could just take a very long time to get a banshee scream. So we'll see if I can get one, uh, but then I'm also gonna set up for an onrio test. Uh, I definitely- I'm gonna bring in- the next time we get hunted, I'll bring in both of my smudge sticks so we can do a proper, uh, oni test so I can look at it for long enough to check for oni blink and check for any shape-shifting. Give me a whisper, baby. Whisper in my ear. I love you so much. Whisper, whisper, whisper. No fan for you. Okay, you're over here. Hello. Yeah, just normal, yep. Yeah. I think I know who it is. Call me crazy, but I think I know who it is. Sussy little banshee. Look at that little babe. All right, easy. All righty. Okay, skippity skip skip. There we go, nice 95 bucks. Boom, baby. What the fuck? Survive with only the starter items. I do not think that's what I just did, so that's a bug, but hey, I'll take the extra $30. Thank you. Thank you, kind game. Okay, when we load back in, I want to check to see what evidence the Banshee has. Okay. Because Banshee had fingerprints, dots, and ghost orbs, I believe. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty certain uh, that it's just zero evidence. So I'm just going to go ahead, go in. Oh, game. Please. Don't. Lag. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd everything go? Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Anywho. We're just gonna go in and trigger a hunt right off the bat. Just to see if it- Why am I leaving? <laughs> Abort. <laughs> what? No! Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. It didn't let me go back in, excuse me. <laughs> Whoopsies. And no one saw that, yes? I- it's been a day, to say the least. I've spent a lot of the day filling out some legal documents and, like, all this shit, so my brain is dead. Uh, now we got Gloria. Uh, anyways, let's go in. Find the cursed item- don't you lag on me again, you little shit. Find the cursed item and just go ahead and trigger a hunt. See if it sounds like a normal speed ghost. If so, we'll have to try and, um, do some other tests, but I'm hoping it'll be a- Non-normal speed ghost. We also have Ouija board again, so I have a feeling Ouija boards are guaranteed. Uh, hello? There's a ghost somewhere nearby. I just heard a door touch, so it's definitely somewhere here. Let's get the breaker on so I can do a gin test as well. Uh, do we have a hiding spot? No. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and this on. I'm gonna throw- actually, let's just throw in a whole bunch of, uh, smudge sticks so I can do, like, a uh, obake test right off the bat, look for shape-shifting or the obake blink. I feel like I'm gonna be real rusty at obake blink just because I haven't seen it in weeks now, so that's gonna be a problem, but we'll try. We'll try our best. Uh, you know. But I definitely- let's find- Ooh, a bone. Hello. Find the hi a hiding spot first just so that I know where the hell I'm running to. Here we go, okay. I'm gonna leave a smudge stick right here in case there's a ghost on my ass. All right. Go ahead and throw this down so I can hold two smudges at once. Uh, let's go ahead and put one right here, actually. Okay, I'm very bad at looping in this spot because I always get stuck on the stupid coffee tables, but this will be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, where the hell's it go? Oh my god, it's so dark. I hate how dark it is. 
Hello, darkness, my old friend. Why are you here? It's 4 p.m. No, it's not. It's summertime. <laughs> it's very bright outside. <laughs> it's so hot. The summer heat is finally setting in where I live. It's like the last couple of weeks have been super chill. Like we're talking 60s, 70, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's been very mild and I love it to death. Now we're starting to get up into the 90s and I'm like, nah, stop. Hello? Okay. Uh, where are you? Kitchen? Cool. Goodbye. Good uh, bye. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Okay. Seriously, what is with the sanity drain on this thing? I feel like I, my sanity is going a lot faster than I normal. Uh, all right. But now we are definitely in hunting range. If it's uh, not a shade, we're right on the line of like a mare. If the lights are on or a Diogen. So we'll see. If it tries to hunt. Shade still can't hunt right now. So if it doesn't seem to hunt us, it could very well be a shade. Nope. Oh my god, it's fast. Oh my god, it's a dude. <laughs> well, there you have it. So no wonder why it was it was taking a minute to hunt. You were just slightly above 40%. Oh, such a short hunt. Okay. Well, there you go. I get real lucky with Diogens on these weekly challenges. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Okay. Bye. And there you have it. Easy peasy. Little deal pit. So one more to go. Let's load back in. Yeah, we've got Ronald Huntley. Ah, lovely. Okay. Let's go get Mr. Huntley to hunt me. I'm assuming it is, yet again, a ghost. <laughs> uh, where was that? I heard a throw. Oh my god, Edgar! Hi, friend! Uh, where was the throw? Definitely sound like a mug or a plate. So it's somewhere around here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the breaker on again, because again, can't test for a gin unless you got the breaker on. Uh, I heard a knock at a window, though. Uh, so you're definitely somewhere over here. Um, somewhere over the rainbow. Way up high. I think I'm gonna do my, my same little method here. Okay, so it's over that direction, it sounds like. We're gonna put a smudge stick right here, leave this here. Go bring in all the smudge sticks so I can immediately try to test for, you know, Obake if it's uh, a normal speed ghost. If it's fast, well, then we're in trouble, but mm, it's fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. Go ahead and throw those down. And I'm not uh, triggering cursed hunts because I, in case it does end up being a normal speed ghost, I want to be able to use the Ouija board to my advantage later if I need it to like drop my sanity again after taking uh, sanity pills. Uh, so that's why I'm not fully triggering a cursed hunt. I'm just asking the ghost word where it is. So let's do that again. Where are you? Dining room? Makes sense. Goodbye. So we should be in hunting range of most ghosts. Are we dipping below? So we're at 45-ish percent sanity. Perfect. So we'll see if it does try to hunt, in which case we can immediately rule out shade, Diogen. Uh, I should get the dining room light on. Oh, it is on. Just kidding. Perfect. Okay. Because a mare also will not be able to hunt until after 40% sanity if the lights are on in its ghost room. Uh, I should also make sure I get my hiding spot ready. Burp. Hiding spot? No. Hiding spot? Yay. Okay, it's hunting me. Sounds normal speed. Not a phantom. On silver. Oh, start the smudge timer. Okay, so darn it. It sounds normal speed. Uh, well, hello. It's very rude, actually. Um, so there's a nice translucent model. Oh my god. 
that is a lot of ghost events. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Mm, let's see, I was at 45% sanity. It hit me with one ghost event. So that should have, if it was an Oni, that would have brought me down to around 25% sanity. So it's probably not an Oni, even if it is doing a lot of ghost events, but we are very low sanity. Um, I would say I was still probably above shade hunting range though. So I don't think it's a shade. Now it's definitely normal speed. So we're going to rule out all of the fast ghosts. Whoops, not... As, well, it wasn't a phantom because I saw it blink quite a lot. It wasn't invisible for long amounts of time, so not a phantom. Uh, it didn't sound like twins. I think that's really all I can say about it thus far. We need to get back in because uh, I am doing a spirit test currently. If it's not a spirit... Oh, it killed the breaker. Uh, that doesn't tell me anything. We knew it wasn't a gen. Okay. But it, again, if it's not a spirit, it should be able to hunt in about 10-ish seconds. Maybe a little bit less time than that, but... Ooh! You stinky little ghost. Who do you think you are? Huh? Huh? I'm gonna run? Are you a spirit? That was a very spirit thing to do. But anyways, I was at like 20... No, 30... 20... 30... Somewhere... Okay, it's definitely not an Oni. It's not draining my sanity nearly enough, because I, uh, I got hit by another ghost event. Onis drain your sanity by 20% every time they hit you with a ghost event. So, not an Oni. Still not hunting. Oh, you're such a spirit. You are such a spirit. Instead of hunting, it's just spamming me with ghost events. That's such a spirit thing to do. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that scene, it's done. What, two singing ghost events out of... How many? Three, four ghost events? Uh, it is turning off the breaker quite a lot. Could you stop, please? So the only ghost that is more likely to turn off the breaker uh, is the Hauntu. And the fact that it sounded very normal speed, I would say it's not a Hauntu anyway, so it's just a coincidence that it's turning off the breaker a lot. Okay, spirit- oh my god. You really hate that breaker. You're not a Hauntu, right? I just like missed the, the faster tent or the faster speed. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the breaker off for now. See if it got faster. Uh, Spirit can hunt now. The fact that it's not hunting just because it doesn't feel like it now is concerning me. Because sometimes ghosts can just take a very long time to hunt and screw you over making you think it's a spirit. So I'm, I'm definitely, I definitely want to do a spirit test again. I, I don't want to go get the breaker right now because if I try to go over there, it might hunt on top of me. Excuse me? Mr. Ghosty, why are you not hunting me? So I have a suspicion this was just a very inconclusive spirit test. This is making me nervous that it's still just not hunting. Oh, this is weird. Why are you not... Okay, there you go. No change in speed. Absolutely normal, so not a, not a haunt to. It just really doesn't like the breaker for whatever goddamn reason. Hi there. Bye there. Uh, start that timer again because I want to do another spirit test because it could still very well be a spirit but because it was it took an extra minute after that timer ended to start hunting that makes me nervous because you could just get a ghost that just doesn't feel like hunting it can happen unfortunately so let's try this one more time let's get the breaker back on uh where's my there we go okay it's still in here Man, that scared me. <laughs> He's trying to sing me a song. He loves me. He's trying to serenade me. What a sweet little ghosty friend. He's just trying to give me hugs. He doesn't want to hurt me. Never ever. All right, most, or the, I'm not gonna lie, like this is my least favorite ghost test because you literally just have to sit here for three minutes doing nothing. Solid. Hopefully this ghost will start spamming us with ghost events again, because that makes it more fun. 
<laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Ghosty. Do you really want to hunt me? Do you really want to hug my eyes? Eh? No? Okay. Well, that's fun. That's a fun time. Um. Okay, if it is not a spirit, it can hunt right about now. You're being very quiet and I don't appreciate it. Are you still here? Did you give me a sign or did you go down to the basement, friend? Ghost? Ghosty go go? Alright, it's gone forever. Whatever shall we do? Ghosty? Ghosty poop poop? Oh dear! Oh, that's a ghosty poo poo right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's. Uh, I I think this is a spirit. I I do believe we got ourselves a spirit. Cause again, uh, it has been two and a half minutes now since I smudged. Still no hunt. So now I'm just gonna sprint around in a circle. Oh yeah, but now there's magic. I didn't even realize that. I got another 20-ish seconds. I hate this fireplace. In this room, why would you have a fireplace right here? And not have that be the center of focus. Like, this should be over here in this corner. The TV should be on top of it. And it should all look nice. But no. This thing's just out here in the center. And there's a weird-ass line on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, that's uh, three minutes, still no hunt. Let's get out of here. I'm going uh, spirits can be kind of boring. I do like when they throw their like temper tantrums after you smudge them. That gets really fun. Uh, but there we go. There we go. Uh, technically three for three, aside from when I accidentally aborted my own investigation. But, you know, that's besides the point. That's besides the point. Look at that. Hey, made it to 8,500. Nice. And that was a lot of fun. I always love doing zero evidence. That's probably one of my favorite challenges, honestly. That's Fazbo's strong suit, is that you can consistently do zero evidence runs and get the ghost correct. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for future Fazbo content if you haven't done so already. And be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys attempted this challenge and how it went for you, because I always love to hear from you guys on that. Uh, so come back next week for our next challenge and I hope you guys all have an absolutely lovely day. Happy hunting out there, everyone.